All right, it is time to discuss the week's uh, science stories with our science and technology expert, Dan Riskin. They just popped up. Hi, Dan. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, Dan Riskin. Good how to see you, Dan. Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope you didn't eat too much processed foods. Uh, so do I. Yeah, so processed foods apparently are worse, all else being equal. I it's kind of like, did we already know this? Well, we know they're bad, but this, I didn't get it until I saw this study. So if you eat the same number of calories, mm. like, and same amount of protein, same amount of carbohydrates, same amount of fat, and you're eating processed foods versus non-processed foods, like healthy fruits mm -hmm. and veg, mm -hmm. same amount of calories, you will gain more weight. And, and so what mm. they did is they had these men for the study, about 50 of them. Yep. They did three weeks on a processed food diet, and then they did, uh, took a big long break, and then they did three weeks on a non-processed food diet, or the other way around, uh -huh. depending on the randomization. Yep. And they gained about a kilogram over three weeks if they were on the processed food, even though it was the same number of calories as if they were mm -hmm. eating the healthy food. And I didn't get it until I saw that. Like, it's already hard enough to keep your calorie count down, yeah. mm -hmm. but you're working against yourself if you're having potato chips and fries and burgers and all that stuff when you could be eating healthier yeah. foods. Do you think huh. it's harder to break down? Like, you know, the processed food is so different. There's so much more involved in the process. They actually believe it has to do with hormones. So that oh, the, the processed foods actually uh, have some chemicals in them that disrupt the hormones. And then your, your body basically just doesn't know what to do with the calories. Uh. It's like, uh, do I use these? Do I file them on a shelf? Like, what do I do with them? And then it ends up just storing it as fat huh. when really that's not what your body should be doing with those calories. So mm. it's a hormonal thing. And they actually, the study also looked at some reproductive hormone stuff and found some scary stuff there for men as well. So stay off the, the processed foods if you as can. As much yeah, as you can. It's yeah, something yeah. I feel like more and more we're talking about that too. Yeah. Processing, focusing on the, uh, the whole foods. Okay, stronger weed, stronger risk. We're talking about marijuana and I guess the kind of marijuana and whether it impacts you a little bit the more. The potency. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, it used to be marijuana was all, you know, like hidden away and researchers couldn't really study it because nobody would admit they were using it and it was illegal. <laughs> yeah. Then it when it became legalized, scientists were like, this is great, we can study it. But all the studies have been on low doses, mm -hmm. or almost all the studies, and some people use higher doses of it. And so this was a, a meta-analysis looking at people that use the stronger stuff, where it's you know at least 10% THC or, or okay. uh, you know larger doses. And what they found is those uses can be linked with things like mental health issues oh. and psychosis and mm. some other issues that we're not seeing in the studies but they think it's because when you're looking at small doses, you're seeing different effects. And yeah. so if you see something in the news that says, you know, marijuana, it's something that makes you think that, oh, this might be for me. Just keep in mind, that's probably with a low dose. Yes. You don't necessarily need to go with the strong stuff. And I will say it again, for kids, marijuana is bad news. Yeah. yeah, It really affects the developing brain and kids yeah. need to not be on that stuff until at least the mid twenties. That's where we don't see those effects anymore. Yeah, yeah as the development continues. Yeah, yeah. You, don't wanna, you don't wanna be uh, messing with that for sure. Okay. This is a really fascinating one. I'm, you know, scientists taking a look at all kinds of things here. Proboscis monkey, is that what I'm saying right? Proboscis, Proboscis monkey. Proboscis, pardon me, monkey noses. They're all unique. Yeah, so proboscis yeah. monkeys are the, they look like Muppets. They're the funniest yes. monkeys in the whole wide world. And yeah. one of the most exciting trips I've ever gone on was to Borneo to guys. see these things. Now that's the oh female, my goodness, I've but you can see the them. nose is so weird. And the males have this great big honker that's just out of control. And so, it's been thought to be a visual signal for communication, but this new study, they actually looked at how this thing would resonate as a chamber. Look at that nose, eh? There's a oh male, goodness. nice nose. No He's problem breathing. Um, yeah. yeah, so, but they they did the study and they showed that actually it would, it would change the, the sound of the voice so monkeys could rec recognize each other by their voice. So just a, a really neat sort of visual cue that they're using, but it turns out to have a sound function as well. And I mean, to me, this is what's so fun about biology. You take something mm -hmm. that looks funny to you, like yeah. the nose of a monkey, yeah. and then you turn it into a scientific study, and it can still be funny, but it's actually even more interesting. That's what fascinates me, yeah. is there's always something for something, right? Like, snake venom can kill you, but can it also help, you know, make yeah. medicine, right? There's always, yeah. there's always like, an interesting, like, oh, it, you think it just does this? No, it does way more. Like, the, the wild kingdom, the animal kingdom, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's evolution, it's, man. Yeah, it's evolution, built some yeah. really cool stuff, and yeah. we, it, we get inspired by it all the time. And so, mm -hmm. you know, like, like for example, beautiful pink birds when they show their feathers yes. and your beautiful jacket, ah, right? You. See, like you're just it's showing it up. You're like a flamingo yeah. today. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I like that someone said, we need to study these noses. Yeah. yeah. These monkeys specifically. I love it's it. It's interesting stuff. I love when you come in, Dan, because you always give us something to think about a little bit later. Right on. So thank you. Great thank subject. you. Studying. Okay, thank you, Dan, so much for this. Uh, we'll see Dan next week.